Hi Aquarius, it's CJ here and I am going to do your September general reading for the month of September 2021. I hope you're doing great and um, you know the last part of August was good for you. For me, I have had a couple of crazy uh, technology things. My laptop blew up, my computer blew up, my phone basically blew up. So I am having to work from an older phone to get these messages out. So. Um, I'm just asking you if you could please be patient. The, the camera might not be so great and the sound might not be so great, but just the same, the messages are needed to come out. So I'm being guided to work through this bit of challenge for myself. Um, and the crazy thing is it's not even Mercury retrograde yet. So um, with that being said, I've meditated on your sign and I've cleansed the deck. So let's just get started. Thanks for being here. I really do appreciate you a lot. It means a lot to me. So I am really grateful. All right. Angels and guides, loved ones, ancestors, and the divine. I ask you to please show me clearly in this reading for Aquarius. Please offer me guidance to get the messages out that you wish for them to have to help them navigate through the month ahead. I am so grateful. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to start with just pulling a major arcana to get the energy for the month that may be around you, Aquarius, and that you can work with. So let's just see what they are wanting to come out for you. All right. Beautiful sign of Aquarius. Please show me clearly what messages, what energy is supporting them in the month of September 2021. Oh, that one just shot out. Woof. Okay, Aquarius, this is this is pretty awesome. It's the universe. In the traditional tarot, it is the world, the world card. I hope you can see the colors. The colors on this card are so vibrant. They feel so rich and so such success. I'm feeling success right now with this card for you. Um Give me one second, the energy that they're giving me. Okay, so with the universe, the world, usually the, the world is representing uh, the, the end of a chapter, the end of one way of being, closing that, you've completed the cycle, and now you're on to a brand new cycle. With the energy that they're giving me with this card for you, Aquarius, it also is saying you've got release. Release, let go, believe. This female figure is wrapped up in what looks like a snake. It is, it's a, a, a beautiful snake. But they're like, as they're one. The feeling is oneness. And it is feeling completely and utterly just trust in trusting yourself to the divine to the process wow okay so what they're asking me to say to you is that where whatever's going on and we're, we're, we're gonna dive in um, but this energy is here to remind you whatever's going on this month Aquarius trust in the process just trust in the process that you are protected and you're being guided and uh, everything is going to be working out really well for you. But just to remain free, remain flowing, don't get caught up in anything, if you can. You know, sometimes easier said than done, but this is the energy that is around you. So whatever's going on, if you can just remind yourself to just go with it, go with the flow, just go with it. Okay, let's get started. Thank you so much, angels and guides, loved ones, ancestors, and the divine. I am so grateful. Let's pull some fountain cards. All right. Thank you so much. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Thank you so much. Deck feels ready. All right. There we go. Okay. Let's see, what messages? Wow, okay, that's a huge stack. 
but we'll take them. Bottom of the deck is eight of coins, so we'll just kind of leave that upright at the moment. All right, a lot of cards here. Wow, okay, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, okay, the Wheel of Fortune, what I was just saying about to go with the flow that I feel like the cycle, whatever this is that's closing out, it is leading you to something really positive. I'm just gonna turn down my meditation music here a little bit. Thank you, okay. We've got strength. And I'll show you the cards as we go through it. Um, King of Coins, wow, powerful. Six of Cups, okay. Page of Coins. Knight of Cups and Five of Coins. Okay. So interesting, yeah. You can give me a moment, Aquarius, and just feeling the energy and listening to my guides on what it is they want me to say here. Okay, so you have the universe as we've already spoken about the world. The Wheel of Fortune comes in, and the Wheel of Fortune obviously can be positive or it can be negative, depending on what way it's spinning, or spinning and also what is surrounding it. This reading feels very positive in the way that you have the King of Coins and the Six of Cups. Nice balance there. Um, it's interesting because it feels... This feels emotionally... Man, this could be both. This could uh, normally a general reading, but I'm kind of feeling like almost like they're giving me it's a relationship and also a um, something to do with your material, tangible things. So the Wheel of Fortune. It is, you know, it's forever spinning. Sometimes it's in our favor. Sometimes it's not in our favor. The one thing about the wheel is that it does continually change especially like when it's upright it is spinning I feel like you are or have been in a position or are in a position because the five of coins came out and five of coins is the feeling of being left out it's the feeling of no one caring it it, it can also be feeling like you don't have the finances that you don't have the the money in the bank to even pay bills or you know there's a struggle here it's a struggle so it's feeling like you are or you have been perhaps in this place in this feeling of um or in this reality of not having enough um and so i feel like the wheel of fortune in that case it hasn't been feeling like it's been working for you but it is. That's the whole thing. These processes here. The divine, we can't always understand or see what is going on behind the scenes, but we must trust that it is going to be for our higher good and that it will all work out in the end. The universe. There is this need for you to find the strength and the courage And the, what is this word? Determination. Okay, thank you. Um, and the determination to not give in to the five of coins because this isn't lasting forever. This is just a moment in time, although sometimes it feels like it's lasting forever when you're in that situation. But what is beside it is the page of coins, which is this brand new start. Pages are the most immature in the deck, um, meaning they're youthful. They're, you know, more naive. This page of coins is fascinated by the coin that he or she is holding and excited, very excited, very enthusiastic about how to make more, how to get more of this, of these pentacles. So it feels like you go from this place of feeling maybe stagnant, left out in the cold, feeling 
maybe that the universe is not doesn't hasn't had your back and feeling really just depleted but you have to keep working on whatever this is that you're working on if this is a relationship or if this is a career or if it's both don't give up there because this is just this is only for a month this is a month read right um you've got some really exciting things that will come your way if you keep working on it eight of coins is about hard work it is about really putting that work in and the determination in and not to quit you are focused on what it is that you want and you're working hard so they're asking and they're saying that you just got to keep putting the work in Aquarius because and it's going to take your strength you know we've got the strength card here um, it's going to take your strength and it's going to take your determination but there's two new starts kind of here the page of coins feels like there's going to be this new start as far as you making more money, tangible, like things growing for you. Then you have the Knight of Cups, which is not as young as the page. It is a knight. Um, but Knight of Cups is, Cups is our water. It's our emotion. It's how we feel. It's our relationships. And the Knight of Cup, he's very romantic. Gender aside, male or female, doesn't matter. It's just the energy of the card. But he, this is a very romantic card. This can be like new love coming in or renewed love in some cases. And I'm saying renewed love because we have the Six of Cups that came out. And Six of Cups um, is usually referring to something or someone in our past. Past doesn't have to mean, you know, 10 years ago. It could be your, a relationship that's you're still in but perhaps it wasn't perhaps it wasn't fulfilling for a bit you know five of coins yes coins are the pentacles they're the earth sign there um are tangible things but it also can be our self-worth the other person's self-worth uh self-confidence confidence etc 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 right so maybe there was something that was not working so great in a relationship at um a time but it is there's this renewed sense of hope this renewed sense of coming back together. And then you have the King of Coins, which is, it's a really great card to have because it's saying your material, tangible resources are going to improve quite, quite drastically, actually, going from the Five of Coins, Page of Coins, then to the King of Coins. King of Coins is... He's comfortable, he's safe, he's secure, he's a nurturer, he has enough to give, uh, whether that be advice or actual finances. So maybe someone's gonna be helping you out financially here, if that pertains to you. Um, you may be feeling like you're struggling right now. You may be feeling like the wheel of fortune is not turning in your favor. They're, they're asking you to give it some time and put, a, put some more work in there, because it is, it's gonna start moving in your favor it's going to start moving in your direction and so you're either going to become the king of coins or someone is going to be around you that is the king of coins that is going to help you maybe you're even possibly working with this person career-wise business-wise partnership-wise we've got strength which is leo's card so maybe you're dealing with a fire sign Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And so uh, this is not going to be for everyone, but I just want to give it to you. I feel like there, someone out there may be struggling in a relationship and it might just be, you know, how finances can really make or break a relationship. It's just, it just is. I mean, we can't live in this world anymore without having our resources. Um, and that can leave a that can add a hell of a lot of pressure on a relationship. It can stunt a relationship. It can break people up if there's financial problems. So that's what they're just giving. They just gave this to me. So it's for someone out there. So if you're in the situation where you've been struggling, you and your partner are struggling and financially struggling, and then it's creating emotional struggles, it feels like this is going to start to change. You've got to just stay patient and keep working at it, keep working at it. And because 
there is going to be this shift that you're going to be able to look back and go, aha, okay, it was hard, it was tough, it was all of this, but I didn't give up, and now look at, I've got a really balanced kind of relationship, and we are back on track financially. The universe didn't come out for no reason. It is coming out, just like what I had said to you at the very beginning, yes, it is the completion, and it is referring to this, the world card, the completion of one cycle and a new cycle beginning. Yes, 100%. If you've been in the cycle of poverty stricken financially, emotionally, you know, um, yeah, those two things, um, then the universe is wanting you to know that this is shifting now. The wheel of fortune is going to start working for you and it's going to start turning towards you and bringing you a lot of good things. Don't give up. You have to just stay determined. The strength card, right? And the eight of coins. Working hard and diligently and not giving up on what it is that you are wanting. So this is, it, it does feel like it's almost like two separate readings, but I know it's all for you, Aquarius, for whoever this relates to. If you're in a tough time right now, hold on to the faith, hold on to the belief, and go with the flow. Keep going with the flow. Because that was the energy they were really giving me here with this female and the snake, that she is just totally, she and the snake are both basically just loving each other and trusting each other. So that's what they're asking you to do. Let's see if we can get some um, extra messages from the crystal deck regarding this reading for Aquarius. You, okay, sorry, they want me to shuffle here. All right, thank you so much. Okay, then. Okay. And they're gonna shuffle one more time, Aquarius. Okay, see, this, I know the deck is, they let me know when the deck is ready is when the cards won't fold into each other very easily. So now they're ready. Okay. Thank you so much, angels and guides. <clears throat> Let's see. What else do you have for Aquarius? What else do you think Aquarius needs to know for this month of September? Okay. Whoa. We got two here. King of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so let's try and show you these. Okay, wands are our fire sign, fire element. They represent our creativity, our passion, uh, all the things that we love to do. You know, the career, careers, entrepreneurs, all of that, all of that stuff, all that yummy goodness. Um, and swords is air, right? Just like you, um, king of swords. <coughs> Really strong energy here. So there is a suggestion with the five of coins. I'm just going to set this down here for a second. Five of coins. This kind of thought process, this this situation. And look, it could be a reality, right? I mean, many of us are struggling and have been struggling with COVID and all of the shutdowns. So it is so feasible that many of us are in this position. Maybe not just mentally, but actually literally, right? We have to change the way we're thinking about it, though. Swords is our thoughts. It's how we communicate. It is um, our ideas, etc. It's our mind. The king of swords goes after what he wants. He knows what he wants, and he is not afraid to use his sword to get there. It's determination. It's clarity of the mind, having the direction to go after what it is that we are wanting. So they are saying that there, there is the need to have or embody the energy of the King of Swords in order to close out the Five of Coins. And if you can do that, this is when this is when the Wheel of Fortune will start to turn in your favor. It does say on the bottom of King of Swords, I trust my ability to make a strate strategic decision. And this is exactly, as I'm looking at these cards, this is exactly it. It's... Uh, if I can just get my words together here. <laughs> um, you have to have the mindset, Aquarius, that 
even if you're in the down and outs right now and you're really struggling, as tough and as hard as that is, and trust me, I do understand that. I, I am very familiar with that energy. But we have to change the way we're thinking of it. We have to think of a different approach. We have to think of a different strategy to get us out of that poverty mindset or poverty, poverty reality. We have to come up with a different idea. And when we do that and we trust it, everything starts to flow more easily towards us. The positive things start to flow more easily towards us. You have the Ace of Wands. All aces are the opportunity for a brand new beginning. Ace of Wands, for me, is the yes card. This is a yes card, go for it. You've got, you've, you've got everything behind you here. So if you're thinking of, if this is, you, you need to get another job, or you, you're wanting to start a new business, or you want to get a better paying job, it's a yes card. If you're wanting to get out on your own, and bring in your own money. Well, you got the page of coins, you know, that is brand new beginning of, of, of how you're going to get your coins. So on the bottom of the Ace of Wands, it says, I'm inspired to follow my passion. You know, with the universe overseeing this reading, I feel that there's a real need for you, Aquarius, to really trust, really trust in you and your capability. You're very intelligent. You know, you are able to really figure out ways of getting out of sticky situations. You have the mind to do that. You have the strength to do that. You have the innovation to do that. <coughs> I'm not sure why I'm coughing so much. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. So, there is just this need for you to change the way you're thinking. Become very clear in your thinking. If you know you don't want to be in this five of coins any, anymore, and you're tired of being there, and you feel like maybe the world has been against you or has forgotten about you, it hasn't. But we have to make room for what they wish to bestow upon us as well. So if we're in this kind of poverty situation, and, and I'm saying this to myself too, because man, I, I sometimes can get really down in the dumps about things, and it's hard to get out of it, and it only seems to attract more of it. Um, so we gotta change the way we're thinking here about whatever this is. If it is about the relationship that maybe just kind of was not feeling very good, you know, we can put more effort in. If that energy, if that relationship is worth something to us, then we have to put more energy into it. We have to feed it. It's like a garden. It needs to be watered and, and tended to, right? Relationships have to be. And we have to put that work in. Strength, you know, got to put the work in. Eight of, of coins. It does feel like there's a choice. You can choose. I mean, we all have free will, um, but... I just want to say that you are divinely guided here and protected in whatever is going on in your life right now. And the positivities that are awaiting for you, once you kind of maybe change your mindset or change your situation, then it's endless, the positive stuff that can come flowing into your world and into your life. I just want to see if there's anything else. Is there anything else? Oh, okay, that's way too many. I'm not, I'm not gonna take those. Those are way too many cards. Thank you so much. Please, less cards. Is there anything else for Aquarius for September? Okay. Two of Cups, there we go. Two of Cups, bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. So you've got the King of Coins and the King of Wands. Very positive energy. I am successful in all that I do. So that is where you can be heading. That's where you can be. Two of Cups is flipped out and it is, Two of Cups is beautiful. It's beautiful balance. It's a beautiful harmony relationship. It is um, one of give and take and one of just true love. 
And it says, I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. So if this is like I was speaking pertaining to a relationship that maybe has gotten stagnant or as maybe you've, you just haven't been able to communicate very well through struggles and all of that, you know, if you guys can put the work in, it feels very much that this balance can come right back in and you will fall in love with each other again. And when that happens, it also feels then your material worth, your tangible things start to increase too. The wheel of fortune therefore then starts spinning in your favor and you have such positive things to move forward to. No more feeling five of the coins. No more feeling left out. No more feeling forgotten. No more feeling unimportant. No more feeling that you are just alone and struggling. So this month looks like a major transformation for you if you allow it to come in. Aquarius. So with that, I'm going to close this reading off by pulling one card from Pearls of Wisdom. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Angels and guides, loved ones and ancestors and the divine, please show me clearly what message would you have, do you have for Aquarius? Oh, that wasn't a very good shuffle. For September 2021. Thank you so much. One card, please. You know, in life, as we all know, there's ups and there's downs, and there's ups and there's downs. And I guess the one thing someone always, someone in my close circle always reminds me is that, you know, when you're down, you're down, but you gotta remember, you're not gonna be down forever. Nothing lasts forever. So if you're having a rough time right now, trust, trust, trust that it is going to change for the better. One card, please. That one, thank you. Laugh at life. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Laugh at life, Aquarius. It's time to play and have fun. Laugh and watch the universe join in. The seal has a natural affinity with the sea moving through it effortlessly. effortlessly. Do the same with life. Wow, okay, so these cards are just linking up. We started with the universe and we're ending with laugh at life. And I don't know if you can see it, but the word is the universe. Laugh and watch the universe join in. I guess you wouldn't be able to see that. Anyways, okay, trust me on this. <laughs> Do the same. Your affirmation is I'm enjoying life. And that's exactly what we started with Aquarius. If you can go with the flow and trust and just become one with the universe, become one with the choices and the way the world is working and find your groove and change the way you're thinking or maybe even just the way you're thinking just to yourself, that changes everything. The flow then begins it opens things up. So remember to have time to play and laugh. Rekindle. If it's about a relationship, take the time out to enjoy each other again. You know? Simply just even go for a walk together or sit on a bench and, I don't know, watch the birds, watch the trees move. If it's not winter wherever you, you live, you know? Um, take a time out. The lighter you become, the more receptive you become to the positive things that the world and the universe has to offer us. Wow, pretty incredible. Pretty incredible reading, Aquarius. I hope there's something in here that you found helpful. Uh, thank you for watching the video. If you would like to like it or subscribe or leave me a comment, I would appreciate any or all three of those things. Um, I hope you have a wonderful month. Thanks for being part of the CJ Soul Tribe here. I really want us all to be able to have a safe place where we can connect and support one another and just, you know, have some fun and really share this higher vibration energy together. So with that being said, thank you so much. Take care and um, we'll talk soon.